Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can overlay graffiti uh, on an existing texture uh, for say like spray painting a wall or dirt maps or decals uh, over any material uh, be able to manipulate that material separately from the base material uh, so you can move it around on the wall and it'll be multiplied on the wall uh, using the, the filters that uh, you can use in, in say Photoshop uh, to capture all the bump mapping and blend it more into uh, into the underlying texture. Uh, there have been a few issues with this. I think some of the, the changes to the uh, Nitro's viewport in Max and how that's rendered um, it's been causing a few issues that I've found. So this is the way I've found to do it. It's not the best, uh, but you get good results from the render. So if anyone has any other way of doing it, uh, please let me know. And uh, we'll, we'll start off uh, going through this. So open Max with uh, a new empty scene. And we'll just like maximize the viewport here so we can work uh, nicely. Then go to Render and Render Setup. And we'll go down and assign Mental Ray as the default renderer. I think when they changed to NVIDIA Mental Ray, it caused a few issues with, uh, with, with overlaying textures. So uh, we'll start with a, just a simple box to represent our wall. And that'll do. And we will go straight into uh, materials, and we want we're good with that. We want to go to the diffuse and select bitmap. So select your files where you keep your textures. I'm going just to here, and we'll grab a brick wall texture. So we'll have this one. This one's okay. Um, make sure the map channel, it should be by default uh, set to map channel 1. So we'll go down to the maps and we'll add some bump. This map comes with a normal bump, so we'll add both. Go add in the normal bump, we'll add a, another bit map and we'll scroll to the, uh, the brick wall. And it's this one, normal map, so we'll add that. Map channel 1 we've got there, we'll add an additional does come with an additional bump map, this one, for slightly finer detail. And that's on map channel 1 there. And we'll go back up to and add a specular as well, because it, it came with that. So we'll just add, this is the brick specular for this one, this set. And we'll add that. Uh, so now that's that material set up. Uh, we may want to increase the bump, but we'll, we'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, we want to go for another material here, but this time uh, we want to go for a mental ray material. Uh, so we'll look for that. I think it's further down here. Mental ray, there we go. So add a mental ray, and we've got a surface that we want to, uh, to work on. Uh, so to this, though, we'll add a composite uh, layer. So now we can actually overlay textures on this. Um, now if you do it any other method, I've found this doesn't work so well and you can't adjust them separately, so uh, not sure what's going on there. Um, so we want to add this texture to our underneath layer. Uh, so we come in here, but we want to, what we want to do is have uh, a, a material to shader. Uh, so we'll go and try and find material to shader. There we go. So we'll add material to shader to this layer. Jump in there, and now we want to copy this. So we can go back there and just copy, and then paste an instance. It's quite important to paste an instance because you have l very little control in uh, material to shader parameters, but you can just adjust everything from back there, and it'll automatically update. So we'll paste the in instance there uh, and then we'll go back up and we'll add a new layer. You can add as, as many layers as you want uh, for individual bits of graffiti. Um, so we'll just add for this one though, we'll just add a bitmap and we'll go down and grab grab some graffiti. We'll, okay. we'll have this one. This one's got the alpha with it so make sure you've got an alpha channel or an alpha map with it. 
Uh, so we'll grab that graffiti there. This time, make sure the map channel for this one is on two. And we'll go back up and add another bitmap. And this time we'll add the alpha for that graffiti. Uh, there we go. So graffiti 3a three, three is the alpha. So drop that one in there. We'll open that. And again, make sure it's set to map channel 2. And then we'll go back up here. Now, if in this drop down, we have almost all the effects um, and layering modes that you have in Photoshop. So it gives you quite a lot of control over uh, how this material is going to look on top of your bricks. Um, so now if we go back up here with the box selected, just assign the material to selection. You won't see anything in the viewport, unfortunately. Um, this is where, even if you click on, if we go down and click on here, you just get this rounded uh, texture here. It's to do with the material, the shader, but I promise you if we do a quick render, well, we haven't set up the uh, the UV coordinates just yet. We can do it, actually, if you just click Continue. Um, we do have the uh, the wall texture on there. But now we want to sort out the UV coordinates. So if we go back to perspective mode, if we click on and make this an edible poly, and then if we go to UVW map, make it a box, now we can manipulate this, as you can probably see the texture's a bit squashed on the side here. So we want to sort that out so we can go and with this selected, you can go and just select the gizmo, but if you just click on that and highlight it, you should have the controls to manipulate the, the texture, the UV map, separately. So we want to square this off, so make sure we've got Got it like this, and that'll do. Uh, it's just so the textures aren't square on there. Um, so with that selected, make sure this is map channel one. This is where we're going to be able to manipulate these layers separately over one another. Um, this is quite important. So if we drop down and add another UV map, and we'll have this as a planar map. We might need to adjust this so. We'll go and put it on the y-axis, uh, and we'll fit that, so it's, it's all on there. But now we'll make sure this is map channel 2, and if we render it now, you should see we're pretty good to go with that. You can actually manipulate it. Well, first, if you just want the one texture, we'll go in, go back in, to the te this uh, this graffiti that you just want the one image of, and we'll turn off tiling mode, and we'll go into the alpha as well and turn off tiling mode for that. Um, so now you've actually got. Well, we'll do this in a second, but you do now have oh, to manipulate this layer. Remember to click on which I always forget. Remember to click on the UV map for map channel two, and you can adjust it up and down to your heart's content and obviously you can scale it, rotate it, so we'll have it uh, we'll go back and we'll just scale this down, we'll scale it like that, so you, as you can see we've scaled it on the wall so with this method you can add multiple layers and have multiple decals on the same wall, move it around to the side and I will show you, it is a real shame that obviously you can't see this in the viewport well, actually, you can if you go into the texture and then click on. You won't be able to see the underlying texture, but you can see where you're positioning the decal. That's that's probably more helpful if you want to do that. And then, obviously, we've got this wall texture, but if you want to go in and click Show, show Material in Viewport uh, for each individual decal, then set them up, scale them, rotate them, however you want. Now, the next thing... Uh, as I was mentioning, the same as Photoshop, which is great for the, this composite layer, um, you can add a multiply. Now, adding a multiply, and we will render that. Adding multiply blends the graffiti 
more naturally into the wall and you also uh, with this method retain all the bump mapping probably can't actually see it so if we go back into the instance material that we set up and go to the bump and we'll we'll just adjust that to 80 uh, just so we can see it and then there we can really see the bumps at uh, probably a little bit too a little bit too much but we can we can see the bumps there we can move the decal around in 3d space on the wall and it's multiplied there on the wall and it's looking rather good and it picks up all the detail underneath by using that uh, composite mode so make sure like I say you set these to um, if we go back to coordinates make sure you set, have set these up on different map channels uh, within this normally the first one is on map channel one and then for each individual decal well let's just add another one uh, we'll go to layers We'll add uh, a bitmap and we'll go down and grab some more graffiti. We'll grab a tag. Uh, so we'll have this one here and put that on map channel three. And we'll go up and then grab the alpha for that graffiti. Graffiti 04. We'll get the alpha. There we go. So this was the alpha for that tag. Uh, and then we'll make sure this is on map channel 3 as well. So we'll move that to one side. And we'll add another UVW map, a uh, UV map, sorry, uh, on top of here. We'll make it planar. We will manipulate it in the y axis. Uh, and we'll fit that so it fits on the whole box there and we'll make sure this is map channel 3 and if you want to see that like say you will have to go into the material um, and once it's rendered obviously you'll be able to see it and that's actually if we go back up and multiply that um, this should overlay on top of both and pick up the detailing and the colors from under, underneath so it looks more natural. We'll scale that down. Ah, again, as I said, I always forget to make sure you have the, the UV map that you want to manipulate selected and make sure it's not tiled, otherwise you will get this effect. So go in and uncheck tiling, go back up, un uncheck the alpha to be tiled so there we go, and it's multiply, multiply. So we can move this around. Someone else tagged someone else's graffiti, maybe. Uh, so we can, again, we'll go in and zoom in on that. Obviously, you would set up lights in this scene and whatever you wanted to do, but this is just a quick way. Uh, as 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 I was struggling with it, it's uh, a quick way to to overlay graffiti or decals on any texture that you like uh, in 3D Studio Max 2013. Uh, so I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, leave any comments below if you've found a better way or an easier way to, uh, to do this. It's relatively simple to set up. Uh, you can then collapse your UV stack down and it will retain. Then you could just add a UV map and select the map channel if you want to manipulate everything again. So, okay guys, I uh, hope that sorted some people's problems out. It certainly sorted mine out. Uh, and I'll see you later. Bye.